and that's what I hope to inspire you guys to do as well and not just think about the calories you're burning not just think about the look that you want not just think about your gym performance but like the overall quality of your life Welcome to the video today. I am currently the most sweaty that I've ever been and during this video Yeah, <laughs> span up with the crotch sweat Thank you, Emma. <laughs> You'll see why during the duration of the video. I've been training with the trainer that I hired I told you guys a couple times a week now twice a week or so for for now Emma's filming the workouts because they're like super high pace when you're training by yourself or you're doing a bodybuilding split or a powerlifting split you have time between your sets to set up the camera and do all that stuff but I don't really have the time between these sets so Emma's kindly filming so with this video I wanted to just give you guys like a full update on project me what I'm doing new macros new cardio new training style a little bit and just like a thought process of where my head's at right now so at this point I'm I think I'm just about 14 weeks into this diet I had the week of Hawaii where I was pretty much off came back feeling really refreshed got back into training and you guys know that the last like few weeks or whatever i've been feeling demotivated and needing to find like my mojo back and you guys have seen the last few videos like the last like three i've been feeling so good with my training and i feel like re-inspired again i hope you guys feel re-inspired by the workouts and stuff too because i do i'm really excited to continue to push for the next few weeks with this cut like my mindset is not in like how much more fat can i possibly lose it's like how much leaner can i get in order to have like a really great starting point. I'm gonna be reverse dieting in terms of like adding calories back in slowly. Will and I have a plan basically to get back to maintenance level really quickly, stay there for a bit, and just keep my body in this really awesome place that I want it to stay. And you guys know from like the beginning of this series that like my whole goal was really just to get my body in this like awesome place, find the balance, find like the, the way I like to train, the way I like want to live, the way I want to look, the way I want to feel, and have that just meld together. And this cut was only phase one of it. And it's more so, how can I prepare my body to be in this place where it's gonna be really healthy and happy for the long term, as opposed to just like, how much more body fat can I lose? How many more calories can I burn? How many more cardio sessions can I get in? How much more can I restrict my calories? Although that does come along with it. So that being said, macros and my carb cycle is changing a little bit. If you guys are interested in the carb cycling idea, I have a whole video on that I made a few months ago. I'll link it down below. I talked a little bit about different kinds of carb cycles in that video, like different kinds of splits that you can do. Previously, I was on a four low, one high cycle. So four low carb days, one high carb day and repeat. My coach and I will suggested or he recommended that we switch to a five low, two high it's because deeper into a diet or deeper into a cut, your body needs a little bit more to replenish the hormones that it loses during the low carb days. And there's been studies to show, I'm gonna see if he can get me what the study is that he is uh, specifically talking about. He started implementing it with a couple of his clients. It worked really well. We're interested to see how it works on me. Again, everyone reacts differently to certain things, but the five low carb days and then the two high cycle will allow that like second high carb day helps to replenish the hormones to like a normal level as opposed to just a little bit of a bump up of the hormones um, it helps to put them at that homeostasis level to where your body's like oh, okay you're not trying to kill me like I'm good I can keep losing fat like cool let's do that and I did that last week and that was the first week that I did it moving into week two now and last week I hit a new low weigh-in um, I was 132.0 so that is a one and a half pound drop from my last lowest weigh-in which is really cool um, just getting past the two high carb days now today's my first low of the week so it's Monday through Friday low and then high days at Saturday Sunday which is exciting training is obviously changing a little bit as well so I hired Tito he's amazing such a good trainer you guys can tell calorie expenditure is definitely higher we're monitoring how much higher it is I'm not doing that extra hit cardio session that I was doing once a week I was doing three times a week steady state and once a week hit now it's switching to no hit um, I'm biking to and from the gym like once or twice a week or so maybe two times a week and then doing these training sessions are really high intensity So we're just cutting out the other high intensity cardio session. I think I'm gonna be dieting for a few more weeks Probably between four and five essentially till the Olympia ish too. really monitoring where I'm at like I would love to get as a goal like look 
I'm a little, a few pounds away from like my look that I want to get to. Not anything near like contest lane. I'm not even close to that. Not anywhere near that, but like a really healthy, like I can see like my arm muscles popping out. I can physically see changes a lot. Um, I can physically see that my like waist is getting smaller, my arms are getting more defined, like my face is leaning out, all that stuff. So biggest thing, I feel really good. I do feel a little bit fatigued, not gonna lie. Sleep is definitely more of a priority at this point. Previously, I was waking up at like 6, 6.30 and doing like this whole morning routine spiel, but lately I've been sleeping until like 7, 7.30, just because that extra hour of sleep is uh, kind of necessary at this point. In terms of like recovery processes for when you're dieting and stuff like that, it becomes much more important to make sure that like your nutrition's on point, your sleep is on point. All of those things are things that I'm always thinking about when it comes to my overall quality of life and that's what I hope to inspire you guys to do as well. Not just think about the calories you're burning, not just think about the look that you want, not just think about your gym performance, but like the overall quality of your life because it's easy to get stuck in like one direction and push forward. I think it's so super great to be dedicated to something for a really long period of time and stay consistent to something, but not at the expense of your life quality, not at the expense of how you feel, if you're happy, if you're not happy, if you're not happy, don't do it. If you are happy and you feel like challenging yourself to a really extreme extent is good for you, do a competition or something like that. I've done a lot of different things and I can say that I don't regret doing any of them. I've gotten so much experience, but this is where like my life is going now. So I'm excited to keep moving forward with this, show you guys everything, obviously show you guys like the reverse diet and the recovery and the must the metabolism building part of Project Me. Anything else? Let me know in the comments section what you guys are doing, how your Project Me is going. I'm wondering for those people that did say they were starting with me uh, weeks ago, 14 weeks ago or so, are you guys still doing it? I'm not really sure. So you guys haven't told me in the comment section lately. I think that's gonna be it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.